Hey, what's going on, everyone? James and I'm sure welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, we're going to, go to go over the voter petitions and voter registration statistics as of the week of November 4th, 2023. Now, not much has changed with the petitions, of course, with the exception of the usual few. Dan Warren has made some more progress on his petition for ballot access, so congratulations to him. And um, the Constitution Party, the Constitution Party, did gain a few more valid signatures this week. Um, it may not be a lot, but hey, it's be it's better than nothing. So yeah, they're also getting really close, as always. And yeah, so yeah, here are the voter registration statistics as of last week. And um, yeah, let's talk about and now let's talk about this week. This time I'm gonna get started on the third parties because uh, and um, we're, we're and then I'll discuss the Democrats and the Republicans last. So. The Green Party has gained like four new registered voters. The Libertarian Party has gained eight new registered voters. No Labels has gained 118 new registered voters. And Unaffiliated Voters have gained 202 new registered voters. All this is just, yeah, a lot, what happened last week with No Labels was probably just a, a dang coincidence. But you know what isn't a coincidence though? The net drop between Dem Democratic and Republican registered voters. This is the third week in a row where both the Democrats and Republicans separately have lost lost voters yet again. The Democratic Party lost 533 new voters, and the Republican Party has lost 136 voters. So, what are we? What can we infer from these numbers so far? Something is going on that is causing the Democrats and Republicans to be much more unpopular than usual. Maybe it's then again, voter registration has total voter registration statistics. Total registered voters has declined, but um, that doesn't that doesn't fully explain why third parties and independents are still increasing while the Democrats and Republicans are declining. And from what we see from within the third party independents, the Green Party will obviously make get a net gain of voters at the end of the year because they were the only political party at the beginning of the year to not face a net drop in registered voters. The Libertarian Party, based on the slow growth rate that's been going on recently. It's very unlikely to go back to what it once had before the beginning of the year. No labels, just no labels has made significant progress, and unaffiliated voters will continue to dominate. Though, although it is slower than usual, it's still more than everyone else. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, I really hope you have all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.